I'm Ken Munson. And I'm Jake Smith. And today we're reviewing Fable 3 for the Xbox 360 from Lionhead Studios. In Fable 3, you play as the son or daughter of the hero from Fable 2, who in between games becomes the king or queen of Albion, and then mysteriously dies. And your tyrant brother becomes the new king taking their place. An interesting thing in this game is you don't start out in your childhood, you start out right away as a late teenager, early adult. One of the first things you'll notice with this game are the graphics. The game looks great. Everything is very highly polished, good looking. The environments are open and expansive and it really just makes the game that much more epic. Um, another thing I really liked is the new sanctuary system, where instead of having regular text-based menus that you scroll through to get at all of your equipment and everything, you actually enter into your sanctuary when you hit pause and go into physical rooms where all your items are stored. So if you wanted to go and change your weapon, you would actually walk into your armory inside of your sanctuary and change your weapon. What are some of the things you liked? A few of the things I liked was like the new spell weaving system where you could take, say, Ice Storm and Vortex and put them together to make an awesome, awesome, awesome new spell that has some really devastating effects on the enemies and look really cool with a few of the other combinations they have. I also like the voice acting in this one. They've got a couple of stars like John Cleese playing your butler and Simon Pegg lending his voice to another character, and it's just really, really well done. I know you'd like the Sanctuary system, but I didn't care for it very much. I want my old menu system back from Fable 1 and 2. This seemed really limited in what I could actually access, where I wasn't able to go through and see what books I had collected, what food types, just miscellaneous items that I had. And it also limited how much of those things I could have, which I didn't really care for. I also didn't like the new Road to Rule system for experience. I liked being able to kill something collect the experience and dump it into melee or range of magic like I could in the first two. And this one I just, I couldn't do that and I didn't like it. See, now I have to disagree. I kind of liked the Road to Rule system, although it's not perfect. It's something different than what RPGs have been doing for so long where you kill a monster, you get some experience, you eventually level repeat. Mm -hmm. And so it really lets you still decide what you want to be good at, but kind of in a different way than the regular leveling structure. And uh, one thing that I have to pick on here is that they got rid of the expression wheel. Uh, so you're really limited to only a few interactions when you walk up to people, as well as they got rid of your magic wheel. So if you want to change what spells you're using, you have to go back to your sanctuary room and actually switch out the spells yourself. Now, I liked the new flourishes that they have with the mini cinematics with each creature that you kill. They have some pretty cool ones. But I don't like the combat system so much in this one. It seems really dumbed down with the one button that you have to push to get something to happen. I'd have to agree. And another thing that I really didn't like is the length of the story. You really don't have as much to explore in this one as the previous two. And the story itself seems considerably shorter than either of its predecessors. As with any of the Fable games, I think this game has great replayability you can go through several times and really never be the same hero. Now with Fable 3, I liked the story a bit with the darkness and the crawler where you come in with after the uh, first half of the game.
But I kind of felt like Lionhead took a different game and put the Fable title on it. And they just kind of alienated their original audience a little bit. Because I loved this game when I got it back in high school. But I don't think it's really the same Fable series that I originally started with. I kind of felt that they just made this game overwhelmingly underwhelming. And I'm going to give it 2 out of 5. I'm going to have to disagree with you on the rating. And that's just because I felt that it was a really solid RPG. It was a good addition to the Fable saga. And despite its few shortcomings, it really did uh, try to be unique and new in a few departments that RPGs really haven't tried to reinvent yet. So I'd probably give it a 4 out of 5. Thanks for watching another episode of KSAX TEG. And remember to come back often and to rate, comment, and subscribe. The views of this video are not necessarily the views of our broadcasting or its affiliate stations. Alright, tell us you love us.